Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Ryan. Movies for Ryan. Another unboxing. I know. It's two weeks in a row now. I've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, I've got stuff from Best Buy, Hamilton Book, Terracotta Distribution, Orbit DVD, and then a um, eBay seller. Yes. Two vinyls. Now, I know this is a movie channel, but these vinyls are movie related. And they come from Plaid Room Records. Pretty cool. So we're going to get into them. If you've never been in the channel before, thank you for stopping by. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. Hit the bell notification so you know when I have videos come out. Every Wednesday, if you like movie unboxings, thrifting, top five lists, community lists, all sorts of good stuff, you're in the right place. I am Ryan. Let's get into it. First thing, again eBay seller. Now, I did open this up because I did have to, you know, rate them. They are eBay. Everything looked good. They even sent a cool sticker. That is awesome. Plaid Room Records. John, this isn't your record store, is it? And uh, let's see. Cool. They even sent a little thank you. Thank you card. Um, slinging records at some festival. That's pretty neat. Stick that up here with the rest of my stuff. But again, um, this is two, uh, yeah, two movie scores. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I've just lost my train of thought. Two movie scores of two of my favorite movies. Um, one of these is just a re-release that just came out. So I was looking to pick it up and I just kind of looked. I was like, well, I wonder if they have this other movie. And they sure enough, they did. And we'll start with it. It is a Spike Jones movie, Her. And this is the Her soundtrack by Arcade Fire. So there's that. Stick that over there for now. And this was a re-release. Can't wait to listen to this. I know that's a nice picture right there. Sofia Coppola's Lost in Translation soundtrack. So there we go. There's a couple of vinyls. So that's going to do it for the music. Everything else from here out should be media, I believe. But yes, her Lost in Translation, two of my favorite movies. Um, two Best Buy packages. Uh, first one I already opened up because I wanted to check something out on it. Um, this is a new thing. It just came out. It is uh, parts one and two. Now I have. Part one on DVD, it is part of the Dragon Dynasty collection, and that is the Legend of Fong Se Yuk. And this is the new uh, Legend Parts 1 and 2, uh, starring Jet Li. Um, I'll be honest, I have not watched the DVD of Part 1, so we're going to go automatically into a Blu-ray upgrade here, and we'll probably watch these at some point. But Jet Li, one of my favorite martial artists, anytime there's any kind of cool... Um, upgrade to blu-ray of any kind of martial arts movies i want to pick it up so there's that also from best buy i believe you gotta be kidding me sitting here with a slip or did it even have a slip i don't know if it had a slip or not this was on sale for dirt cheap uh they had a 4k sale a couple weeks ago um picked up the fablemans they should have had a slip, right? I mean, this is brand new. Um, I bought it for store pickup. They didn't have it, so I had to have it shipped to me. So maybe that's why. Um, but I've heard this is really good. Um, Steven Spielberg, basically, his kind of life. I have not watched it yet. It'll probably be a while. It'll probably sit on the shelf for a little bit before I watch it. But I can't wait to watch it. I'm just going to do it for Best Buy. Um, Hamilton Book. I've got two packages from Hamilton Book. Um... They had a big sale um, a couple weeks ago. A bunch of their Arrow stuff was on sale, and they were clearancing out other stuff. Um, so this first thing is not movies. I actually forgot I ordered this. They sent this separately. I was wondering how come I got two, two packages. I didn't realize this book was this big. So the first thing I picked up, Quentin Tarantino's um, Cinema Speculation. 
Now, this is basically his autobiography. Um, and the way I understood it, he didn't mean to write an autobiography. He started writing this book and then just realized I'm writing an autobiography. So I picked it up. Um, I couldn't find it in store anywhere around here. Target, um, actually Target's about the only place to look at anymore. And I didn't go to Barnes and Nobles. I didn't even think about that. So Hamilton Book had this for cheap. $16.99, I think. I don't even know what the original price of this is. Um, $35. Yeah, I think this was only like $16 from Hamilton Book. So if you're looking for the Tarantino book, check out Hamilton Book. Here we go. This has got all the movies in it. I can hear them rattling around in here. I love the boxes. They're so fun to open up. You got this giant pull tab to go all the way around. You get two sides of stuff here. And you can probably hear my daughter crying. It sounds like she just ran into the wall. So that's not good. And I think I got uh, six movies or so. Let's see. Yeah, cool. They came with covers. Those came with slip covers. That's for my kid. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show them off in this order. So the first thing I picked up, um, I did move something here to the side. Um, I'm not showing this off. This was something I picked up to replace something I already bought. Um, I know that sounds kind of weird, but I wanted to see something. And this does not have what I thought on it. I thought it was going to come with slipcover. It does not. I don't need to show it. First thing I picked up, the Angry Birds 3D. Um, I had the Steelbook. I sold it, and I forgot to pick this up for my son. This is one of his favorite movies, so I went and picked it up. It was like $4.95. Uh, next, um, the man standing next, the man standing next, the assassination of a president. Now this has Lee Byung Hung in it, the um, storm shadow from GI Joe. Um, he is the Asian from the magnificent seven. I forget what his name is off the top of my head. He is fast becoming one of my favorite Korean actors. And this was a Korean movie they had. Um, I'm not sure who the director is on this. I can't see quite who it was. But it sounded interesting. He's basically a Secret Service guy. And he's got something to do with the assassination of the president. So be interesting. It's Korean. Got to check it out. Next, I've got four titles from the Arrow Cell. Um, the first thing is, I believe, I'm pretty sure it's Asian. Yes. Um, Noriaki Yase ya Yasa. Yeah, I believe this is another arrow video. Uh, I did not have. I'm trying to get all the Asian arrow videos that I can. And this is the Snake Girl and the Silver Haired Witch. Even came with the slip cover, so that's pretty cool. Um, these were on sale for like ten ninety nine, something like that. I forget what they were. They were dirt cheap. That's the first arrow title. Second one, I had this on DVD, Dragon Dynasty, but this is an upgrade. Come drink with me. Haven't watched it. I've heard this one's really, really good. Came with slip and everything, so that's pretty cool. And um, probably one of the more better martial arts movies from the Golden Age. Came with slip. Again, I have it on DVD from the Dragon Dynasty, but the Eight Diagram Pole Fighter. Can't beat that. I just got the hiccups out of nowhere. And I'm upgrading a steelbook to a better steelbook to a 4K trimmers. Um, they had this again for like $10. I could not believe it. Um, is that embossed? No, it's not embossed. But um, I've heard this is like one of the best 4K transfers that came out recently. And the steelbook looks way better than one that I have. Um, I've never seen any of the other trimmers. This is the only one I care about. So. Can't wait to check this out in 4K. I gotta find somebody. Ah, there he is. We are joined by Stabbing Steve. Being by the thumbnail. Terracotta Distribution. I've been waiting on this order for a while. Um, I made it a couple of months ago. Um, it has a pre order in it. And that's why I'm just now getting it because the pre order just came out like a week ago. But I order a ton of stuff from Terracotta Distribution. You've seen me open their stuff up before on my channel. Um, it is my go-to 
for pretty much most of my Asian titles. Great packaging, quick shipping. Bunch of bubble wrap. Let me get into it here. All right. There we go. Let's see what all we got here. More Arrow, Arrow Academy, Eureka, Third Window, Third Window, Eureka. All right. Let me let me get these in some sort of order here. First thing I picked up. This is a newer movie too. It just came out. Um, actually, I think it came out a couple weeks before the pre-order I bought. But it is um, Hong Sang Sang So, Woman is the Future of Man and Tale of Cinema. Two movies. Um, again, it's Asian. The let's see, let me see. When the Future of Man tells two longtime friends, a filmmaker and a teacher who have had an affair with the same woman, friends decide to meet the girl one more time and see what happens. And then Tell of Cinema uses the trope of film within a film to tell two stories that are that of a depressive young man who forms a suicide pact with a friend and the tale of a filmmaker who sees the film that he believes was based on his life and who meets an actress from the film viewed turning to turning their on-screen relationship into reality. Sounded really interesting. Um, I don't think I've seen anything from this director before. Um, I've heard really, really good stuff about this, so I figured what the heck I'd pick it up. Next, um, a film from Hiroshi Kurosawa. This is the third movie that I did not have of his. Um, there was Cure. Um, there was something else that I picked up, but then Pulse. This is one of, I think, his first movie? No. Maybe his second movie. But it's a J-horror movie called Pulse. I uh, want to check it out because I've heard Cursor. I was really, this Cursor was really good. I haven't watched Cure or the other movie yet. Creepy. Creepy was the other movie. I need to watch these. Moving on from Eureka. This movie sounded really, really interesting. Hearing impaired Kyung Mi catches the attention of Do Psych, a mysterious serial killer that's been stalking their neighborhood. Dosik targets Kyung Mi, presuming her deafness will make her an easy target, sparking a twisted game of where the killer hides in plain sight. So it kind of reminded me of the movie Hush, uh, where the deaf, I think she was mute also, a writer goes out in the middle of the woods and the guy basically stalks her. So this kind of sounded like the same premises. Um, I really kind of like that movie. And this is called Midnight. I can't wait to check this out. It looked really, really good. Again. Another Asian title that I needed to pick up. Next, um, I've been on a Michelle Yeoh kick. Everything, everywhere, all at once, won all these Oscars, won all these awards. They've been pumping out the Michelle Yeoh stuff, and this is Magnificent Warriors. This is a new release. It just came out recently as well. know nothing about it. Um, I just know it's got Michelle Yeoh in it, so I can't wait to watch it. Next is a Takashi Miike film. Now, if you know me, Kashi Miike is one of my favorite new age directors out of Japan. And this is a third window uh, title called Lesson of Evil. And um, yeah, that's all I know about it. I just seen Takashi Miike on there and I had to pick it up. His movies are crazy. Can't wait to check that out. And then finally, out of this order, this was my pre order. Um, this and another movie both came out the same time. I watched both trailers. I did not care for the trailer of the other movie. Um, but this one was intense. Um, very colorful, very action packed. It is about a samurai and there's a war going on between, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Looks like 12 different samurai and a legion of ninja monkeys. But it's called Punk Samurai. Look at the, how colorful, colorful this is. This The movie is this colorful. It looks fantastic. Um, again, here's the Monkey Legion down here. Check out this trailer, please. Um, it's a little crazy. But Punk Samurai, I can't wait to watch this. Looks really good. And finally, 
I can't wait to open this box because I actually kind of forgot what I bought again. Orbit DVD. I woke up at like four o'clock on a Saturday morning because that's what time I'm normally up anyway during the week. And I was like, you know what? Let's see what Orbit has. And uh, I ordered some stuff. They shipped it that Saturday. I had it Monday. Um, Orbit. I love them. They've got a lot of good stuff on their website. I've got a couple pre-orders, I think, coming from them as well. Let's get into this box. Let's see what Ryan ordered. Receipt. Bubble wrap. Six titles. Ooh. Wow. Okay. We're going to save that for last. Um, yeah. Let's just let's get right into this. Um, this is a movie that just came out recently. Um, stars Lee Jung Jae, which is from the Squid Game. Yes, it's Asian. It's Korean. And it is Hunt. And of course, I bought this. And not even like three days later after I got this box, KB from KB Loves Movies sends me a link. He goes, hey man, 4K Steelbook's coming out of this movie. Looks really good. I literally just bought the Blu-ray of this. So of course, I'll probably end up buying the Steelbook if I enjoy this movie. Um, basically, it's the directional debut of Emmy Award winning Lee J. Jung. Okay, so he actually... Um, Directs it as well. Two agents in Korean Central Intelligence tasked with hunting a North Korean spy embedded within their agency. So it's going to be a good little thriller. Can't wait to watch this. Korea does thrillers really good. Next, um, this does not have a Blu-ray release in the States. And of course, as soon as I buy this, A24 did a 4K restoration viewing on Pi Day. Darren Aronofsky's Pie. Um, man, I'm going to say I haven't watched this in since it probably came out, but um, I don't think we're going to get a release from A24. This is a Region B release from um, England. I'm pretty sure it's B locked. I don't. I think you have to have a region free player to play this. But Pie on Blu-ray, I can get rid of my DVD now. Um, okay. A movie I have never seen, um, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. And, um, Dragon Inn is a Criterion release. It's a really good movie. Um, Touches In and The Fate of Lee Con are like the second and third parts of them. But this is, um, basically a tribute to the actual Dragon Inn. And it's called Goodbye Dragon Inn, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, the size masterpiece manages to be many things at once. Uh, a Taiwanese last picture show, a failed heterosexual love story, a gay cruising saga, a melancholy tone poem, a Morton comedy, and a creepy ghost tale. So, uh, basically, this is kind of just like a weird goodbye. So, goodbye, Dragon Inn. I've heard nothing but good things about that that's been recommended by several people. Next is a movie I thought I owned, um, but I got Violent Cop and Street Thugs mixed up in the uh, Kenji Fukasaka box set. I mashed their names together and got the name of this because this is called Violent Streets. And this is by Hideo Gosha, and it does come with the cool slip. Know nothing about it. It's Asian. I'm going to get around one day to watching all my Asian movies, but... Um, Let's see. One of the finest directors of Japanese Kambara, Kambara sword fighting films, Hideo Gosha. Oh, he did Three Outlaw Samurai. Okay, so I have seen his movies. Never mind. Um, also directed a number of films of the Yukaza Jr. genre. Most outstanding was this movie. Okay. So I can't wait to watch this. I love Three Outlaw Samurai. So that's got to be really good, too. 
Two more. One more. Two more. Uh, Sammo Hung. Knockabout. That's what I'm going to say about it. If you have not watched any Sammo Hung movies by now after watching me, please do. Knockabout. A uh, new upgrade release from Arrow Video. Comes with a slip, too. The slip is awesome. Look at that. Uh, can't wait to watch this. It's Sammo Hung. He's easily my top five favorite martial artists of all time. And finally, um, I was going to buy a Nova Media release of this, but it was a basic slip box version. And I passed on it. I didn't pick it up at the winter sale. I decided not to. And um, this is something really new. Um, luckily, it does have English subtitles because this is from Germany. And this is from Koch Films or Coke Films, whatever you want to, however you want to say their name, K O C K. K O C K? K O C H. I almost said cock. So, Coach Films. Um, the Bride with White Hair Ultimate Edition. A look at this thing. Um, it is basically a Wuxia samurai style movie. Big old thick book, digipack looking here. I don't know if you can see on the back there. But it's basically um, the bride with white hair. She, I think, has to avenge her lover or something like that. She's a swordsman, swordswoman. And this is supposed to be really, really good. I've never seen the movie, but it's came highly praised and highly recommended before. Like I said, I was going to pick it up at the Nova Media Cell. I just did not like the packaging for it, and I seen this, and I immediately had to pick this up. Let's see if I can hit that box one more time. Bad. Bad box. Either way. Can't wait to break into this. So that's been it. That's been the unboxing. A whole lot of Asian stuff in this one. So thank you for checking out this video. Like, subscribe, comment below. Tell me some of the, your favorite things that you see me open here or whatever. Again, check out Punk Samurai, the trailer. Even if you've never watched the movie, the trailer alone is worth it. This is going to do it. This is Ryan. Movies with Ryan. Until I see you again, have a fantastic night.